Good morning, y'all. My name is Sharice. I make travel and lifestyle vlogs. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe right now. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl. So today's video is a road trip. We're going to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is about three hours, so nothing too crazy. But I haven't updated you guys in... I have major news. I'm in a long distance relationship now. Emmanuel moved down to Pittsburgh to do a job for a few months. It's temporarily right now, but if it becomes full time, we will move down there possibly around the end of summer. So I'll have to keep you guys updated on that. I'm really excited because this weekend we're celebrating Valentine's Day, which was on Monday, and our anniversary, which was on Wednesday, February 16th. We've been together for three years now. Before we head out, I wanted to show y'all these beautiful flowers. Emmanuel was sent to my job on Wednesday. We're all packed and ready to go. Prince is going over his grandparents' house. I made it to Pittsburgh. My thoughts on the drive. It is so windy and curvy and hilly and i even asked emmanuel like how's the drive and he did not mention that and then when i told him he was like oh yeah tell me about it bruh you can at least warn me i was gonna be going through that but yeah i'm here i made it safely thank god it's 222 right now emmanuel doesn't get off of work till 4 30 for the next two and a half hours i am going to get my underarms wax i found a european wax center and they had an appointment available then i'm gonna go to starbucks because there's a starbucks in this same plaza and then i'm gonna go walk around target that's the plan i was so happy i was able to find let me show you so happy i was able to find a european wax center i'm back oh why is my camera dark like this my camera be really embarrassing me okay so anyways just hold it oh, shit i got my wax the lady did like an amazing job she was super quick i was telling the lady that i was this close to just shaving and she was like i'm so glad you did she was like i can tell that you wax your hair so thin once you start back shaving it's gonna start back growing in darker and thicker so yeah this is if you don't wax yet this is a sign like just try it i promise you it changed my life baby all right i'm about to go to starbucks now because I have a gift card. I just left TJ Maxx. Honestly, they didn't have anything. The only thing I got was a pair of sandals. But there is a liquor store in this plaza, so I'm about to go there. One thing about it, when I say I'm going one place, it's gonna end up being a few places. Hey guys, look who I'm with. You can't even see my black dress. It's nighttime, so y'all can't see us. But um, yeah, I made it to my bed. We've just been chilling, and now we're walking to go get some dinner. We got our like cards for the games to play with, and then at this casino, they give you $15 if you're a new player. I don't be knowing how to play games, so I usually just press random buttons this is the machine we stopped at i see my mom play this machine though i just want to win something oh shoot i thought i won When I win, I cash out, y'all. I think only won six dollars. <laughs> oh, your girl oh won sixty cents. I thought it was six dollars. That is so embarrassing. I just want to update y'all, let y'all know I'm up seven dollars. My baby's over here still trying to play. I really should play this back because this ain't really nothing. But I want to keep my little $7 that I want. 
We ordered some Henny and Red Bull. We just left the casino. The sun's trying to come out, but it's still cold out. I want $7. It would have been a better day if we won like a million. What would you do if we won like a million in there? We made it to the outlet. I've never seen an H&M at an outlet. We cleaned up today at the Nike outlet and then at the H&M outlet store. Now we're taking a food break. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the stores, probably when I get home on Monday. So we just got to our hotel. It's called the Kempton, and it's right in the heart of downtown. You guys, look how tall this building is. That is scary. Our hotel isn't as tall, and I hope they don't put us like super high up. You know, I do usually like a view. It's something about the way you stare. You guys, this hotel is so pretty. It's like luxury, okay? The lady at the front desk vlogs. She gave me her YouTube channel because she saw me vlogging. I'm definitely about to check my girl out. And I gave her my channel and told her to subscribe. This hotel is so nice. Okay. Look at the door. It's like a really pretty blue. And look at the wallpaper. But let's do the room tour. Okay, so you come in. These double doors right here are closet space. And there's also a safe in here. And then you turn this way and here's the bathroom. Look at the wallpaper, this is so cool. Sink, toilet, here's the shower area. A chair, TV, desk area. Oh, freaking curtains are so cute. Oh my God, look at the bed. This is so pretty. I love this green headboard and I love this light fixture, how it has this like cage detail. Like, I literally love this decor. Look at the wallpaper in here. It looks so fancy. So I made like a little drink station for us. Right here we got the Henny. We got some watermelon Moscato, some crown apple, and then I got some cotton candy because I don't know if you've ever seen like when you go out to brunch sometimes, they'll have the mimosas with cotton candy on them on the rim and you can like drop the cotton candy inside the drink. It makes it a lot sweeter because champagne can be bitter. And then lastly, I got these cookies when we were at the outlet mall. One is a cinnamon roll cookie. This is a s'mores cookie and then this one's an Oreo brownie. Right now, I'm about to get dressed and do my makeup. I actually feel like chatting with y'all and giving y'all a little bit of a life update, so I'll probably do that as I'm getting ready. I already filled in my eyebrows and this is my first time doing my eyebrows like this. Usually I feel them in so freaking dark. And so this time, I literally left them natural right here and I only filled them in on this like tail area. So what did I want to chat about with you guys? What did I want to chat about with you guys? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why I sound weird when I said it. If you've made it to this point of the video, make sure you're subscribed. I don't even know if I need concealer. Like they look pretty clean right now. I might not do concealer. Who am I? Who am I? Should I skip concealer? Okay, I um, added concealer. I'm gonna use some NARS foundation. Not a lot, because I already got some good skin, you know, so I don't need a whole lot of coverage. And then this is Sephora Brush 47. Yeah, really good for foundation. When it comes to foundation, you just wanna blend until your wrist hurts. But anyways, I figure now's a good time to start chatting. Since I'll be here blending for a while, um, 
This trip has been really emotional for me. I'm in a long distance relationship now, so as good as it is for me to see him when I get to see him, it's just like, I'm always reminded that things are so different and things are changing. And I also think the reason why I'm struggling with this process is because um, when I met Emmanuel, it was around the time that I was moving into my first place and we immediately would spend every single day together. Either he would be at my house or I would be at his house. So I've never really had to live alone. I will say it 100% makes you miss your partner more. So I found the bomb blush from Target and I don't know the brand's name, but it has like two R's on it. So I would check it out, it's bomb. Might could be really making you feel like that bitch. <laughs> this is my favorite setting spray. It used to be Urban Decay All Nighter, but I love this. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Look, watch this. You see how like hydrating it is? So I'm going to wear these red leather pants. They look wrinkly right now, but trust me, once you put them on, you gotta fill them out with your body, and then they the wrinkles go away. And I'm gonna wear this cheetah print H&M button shirt. I got it at the outlet today. With these heels, they're so comfortable. I think I got them from Fashion Nova, but it's shot o'clock. I fall for you every time I try to resist You can get away Bum cheese beach fuels and then every day All you wanna we are at the restaurant. It's called The Commoners. Look what they brought us out. Oh, this is so cute. Drinks came. Y'all, this is so freaking cute. So for starters, we have chicken tenders. They're marinated in honey, and I don't remember what the dipping sauce is. We're very basic with our dinners tonight. I got burgers and fries. Hey y'all, so just checking in to let y'all know. We're on our second round of drinks. These drinks are so strong. That I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this, but I don't like wasting drinks. Especially because these drinks be like $15 a piece. And our room is just upstairs. You ready for this? What was our first day? We went to watch night school. Our first time, we, we talked. We talked for a minute. I had to go to work the next day. Who tells somebody on a Sunday? Go watch a movie. Because I remember the next day, I was tired of fuck. All right, my next question is... Yeah, my eyes are droopy as hell. Um, so we've been together for three years. What is one of your goals for us as a couple in the next three years? She said, what's next? We're about to see. But, in my ideal world, ideal, you know, a brother is three years? A brother may be married, probably married, married. Has a kid, successful, definitely successful. Um, probably still working with one of these NFL teams. I don't know where though. Still figuring that part out. But watch out for the boy. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask me no free tickets. <laughs> What's one thing that you really love about me and what's one thing that you would change about me? Honestly. One thing I love about her is she is very caring. Very caring. She is. Sometimes to a fault, but she is. One thing I would change the mindset. You just need your mindset to be in tune. Like we gotta know that you're like this is the goal, 
This is where we're going. We're gonna hit that shit. Whether there's a bump in the road, a detour, you know, you get the rug gets pulled up under you. How do you respond? That's just in life in general. Learn how to adjust when needed. I think that's one thing you don't do. You don't know how to adjust when needed. Which is, it's not a bad, I mean, look. I just really don't like change, and I know that. I've, I've been knowing that about me. But that's not a, hold on. All right, we're gonna have a sis. Hey guys, so I made it to the room after dinner. Dinner was a 10 out of 10. Drinks were a 10 out of 10. Oh. A little bit tipsy. I'm a little bit tipsy. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, we could be superstars. We've been riding wrecking cars. I feel like I woke up hungry, hungover, and thirsty. Thirsty for some water more than anything. Like, my mouth was so dry. But it's 9 o'clock in the morning. It's Sunday, my last full day here. I leave tomorrow morning. So today we're gonna try to do this incline. Um, when I posted that I was going to Pittsburgh, like pretty much everyone said we need to do this incline. We're checking out the hotel right now. can see it and we got perfect weather today I'm so happy because it had been a little bit chilly out here but happy Sunday you guys I feel extremely blessed and just super happy um, to have gotten to do this road trip to see Manuel and I'm really excited to do some more sightseeing today so I was telling you Manuel if we were to move here I, I would like some apartments like these they're like downtown and they give me city vibes and they're really nice looking okay so now you guys can actually see one of the trams coming down the stadium is right there you guys can see like the young bleachers that's where the Pittsburgh Steelers play at okay my braids just blew in front of the camera <laughs> you take the incline up and then there are like streets up here where you can get food drinks just a good vibe if you're in Pittsburgh I definitely recommend it I swear it's time to keep these feelings to myself Look at these houses. Like they have some that are like brick and then they have some that are modern. Babe, does this kind of remind you of um the street we went to when we were in DC? Georgetown. We're about to go down this street now. We can get away. Home cheese beach feels on the night day. All I wanna hear is an images that we play. Sit right next to you. These are called pig wings. They're literally ribs. It looks so good. Yo, you may have been wanting some ribs and then they got them at this place. Pretty good. I got a cheeseburger taco and a barbecue chicken taco. And I got a barbecue chicken taco and a Nashville hot taco. We're back at the incline. We're waiting to go down. Hey guys, so I made it home from my trip. It is Monday, February 21st. And I'm gonna close out the vlog, but before I do, I wanted to show y'all what I got while I was out of town, cause I did do a little bit of shopping. I didn't go too crazy, but let me just show y'all. So, the first store that I went into was Target. Out of Target, I got 
these fur slippers and they have a hard bottom so they can actually be worn outside too and then i got some pants that are cover-ups and they're so cute as you guys can see it's giving vacation vibes for sure but the reason why i like these a lot is because they have a split right here going up the front of the pants if i can find like a model wearing these i'm gonna put it on the screen because these are gonna be super cute the last thing i got from target was this brown maxi dress i love the neckline it's the asymmetric neckline and then it's really long so it should go all the way down haven't tried it on yet but it's a little bit out of my comfort zone so it has like a side cut out but what i like about it is that you can control how big the cutout is so you can scratch it real real tight like this or you can have it like huge um so we're gonna try it out the next store i went into was h m out of h m i got that cheetah print button up that you guys saw me wear one of the nights that i was in pittsburgh and then i got another top there it says self-care club i thought this was so cute um just because it's plain but the blue sticks out i just like quality t-shirts to throw on when i'm doing an errand or going to the gym and then i also got some things from nike i got these shoes we'll take them off so you guys can see them so this is what they look like and yeah a full view love the shoestrings because it has the white and blue shoestrings um i'm not really a green person at all but i figure you could wear this with black like all black outfit and it'll bring some color to your look the real reason why i wasn't gonna pass these up is because look how much i paid they was only 45 dollars so i'm like yeah give them to me so to match these i figured that would be cool to bring out the orange check mark i got this zip up hoodie and then the last place i stopped at was ulta and out of ulta i got ysl black opium i have this in the roller pin and i figured i definitely want the full size bottle and i also got gucci guilty the intense one so it's just a little bit stronger than the regular gucci guilty and it smells so freaking good i smelled it when i was walking through macy's one day i finally ended up buying it when i saw that ulta but that's all i got while i was there in pittsburgh it was a nice trip i enjoyed myself i enjoyed seeing emmanuel hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure you are subscribed so you can stay up to date with my content i know i post really really irregularly and i'm a little bit inconsistent like i'm not gonna lie but i would love to have you guys here so please subscribe so you guys should be getting another travel vlog in about a month the end of march i'm not gonna tell you guys where yet because i want it to be a surprise so i'll see you in the next video